what's up? Hello, Katie Colson here. Welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. And we're going to get right into it because the sponsor of today's video is actually what the entire video is about. And it's all centralizing on a standing desk that I got from FlexiSpot. Now, if you're on my Patreon, you've heard me talk about walking um, pads and standing desks ad nauseum because I've wanted one for literal years. I've been thirsting over this product because I've been very sedentary since I moved to this apartment and I no longer have a neighborhood to walk around while I read. So I need something to be able to walk on while I read, but also while I do work because a lot of my time is spent editing or live streaming on my Patreon and I need to be able to move while I do that. So this is actually perfect. Like I am embarrassed. Okay. I am not proud to say, I begged FlexiSpot to send me this desk. I begged. They reached out to me, but I was like, I was acting like they didn't want me. I was like, please, please send me the desk. I want it so bad. And they were like, yeah, yeah, that's what we emailed you about. I was like, oh my God, I'm, listen, I am going to go into the functions of this desk and how it operates throughout the video. So I'm not going to go into it in the beginning because I'm actually going to show you later on. And also they are customizable. So the one that I got is the white frame with the bamboo desk and it's the E4. It has a particular name. Um, no, it's just the E4 standing desk and mine's 46 inches long and 24 inches wide. Now you can customize that and get them longer, wider. You can also change the desktops. You can change the uh, color of the frame and you can also just get the frame and not the desktop. But I got the bamboo desktop and the white legs because of my other desk that's really big has white Alex drawers and then a almost like bamboo. Actually, I do think it's bamboo, a bamboo desktop. So I wanted them to match and they look so good next to each other. So what we're doing in this video is I am going to be changing my living space entirely. I'm going to be getting rid of my treadmill, but I figure that out through the video. I'm going to be setting up the desk, getting the walking pad. But anyway, I'm literally so pumped. Like I'm sure there are people out there like Katie, it's a desk, but like it's a lifestyle. Okay. So let's jump back to the beginning and talk about FlexiSpot reaching up to me. And then let's get on to building this desk. Oh my god, hi, it's Katie Golson. It is 12:30 something in the evening. I just got home and outside of my door, let me show you what was there. Flexi spot. Okay, this box was there. Now I'm assuming that this is just the legs and the mechanics of the desk because the desktop, something that would look like this. I mean, you, you see what I'm saying. There's just no feasible way that it's inside this box. If it's a fold up desktop, I would be truly amazed. Okay. So I think that the desktop is coming maybe tomorrow or in the next few days, but I want to build this. Is it a good idea to do it at this time of night? No, but like, when do we not make bad decisions? You know, you know what I'm saying? Also, I want to build it right here on the carpet only because I don't want to move the treadmill, even though this is where the desk is actually going to go and building the desk and then like configuring how to move the treadmill and the desk, switch it back and forth. That's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. I should not do that. But am I going to? Yes. I can't talk myself out of this bad decision. Also, if you buy this desk, I'm going to tell you one thing. You need to thank your postal delivery service person because this box is heavy. It is so heavy. And I do not live on the ground floor. I don't know how this FedEx delivery man dr like dragged this up my stairs, but he did somehow. And I need to give this man a thank you card because this, I could barely move it by myself. I couldn't lift it. I could not lift it, but I like shoved it inside my apartment. Oh, it's so heavy. Um, I am going to try and build it right now. And while hopefully you'll see a time lapse of that, if not, it'll be tomorrow. But I did just get the audiobook of wrong place, wrong time. And I was waiting on the ebook on my new iPad and the ebook is taking a really long time. It says there's still like four weeks to wait, but the, e the audiobook is available right now. So I think that what I'm going to do is start reading this and at least attempt to set up the desk. Cause I'm, I'm literally so excited. Like I'm, I know I've probably said that so many times already in this video, but it's a standing desk.
Okay, I got this far. Not completely done, though a very far way through it. But I realized that the constructions, the constructions, the instructions were saying that you needed the desktop to uh, connect this and to connect the control panel. So I'm gonna wait until I get the desktop. I think tomorrow that would be the hope and the prayer. This was super, super easy. I'm just somebody who overthinks everything. So I put this together super fast and it is very heavy, but the individual parts are doable. So I am going to wait until tomorrow and see if I get the desktop in. That would be amazing. And then I will get back to you on that. But I did start the audiobook for Wrong Place, Wrong Time. I kept pausing the audiobook whenever I needed to look at the instructions because I didn't want to be missing anything. And I only got like 10 or 15 pages in. But so far, all we know is that it's a woman and her husband who one night, she's waiting for her son to come home who is an adult, but like not, like he's like new adult. And she sees somebody kind of coming out of the darkness, like when he's walking home and she runs out there, like something's going on. Like there's a guy coming at him and her son stabs him and the police come and they're like arresting him. And she's like, like, she's a lawyer and she's like, don't talk to them, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I killed him. And it's very shocking and stunning and she doesn't know what's going on and why he did this and why he had a knife on him in the first place. And he'd been acting kind of strangely recently. And she wakes up the next day, the day before. So basically like she doesn't remember falling asleep, but apparently she falls asleep. And when she wakes up, it's the day before this happened. So I'm assuming that what this book is going to be is for her trying to stay stop her son from doing this but I don't know obviously it's the very beginning I have no idea what's going on but I know that a couple of people that I really enjoy on booktube really loved this and I am hoping for at least a four star out of this so this is the book that we're going to be reading in this reading vlog in this journey and I will catch you tomorrow either with the building of the desk or with the reading of this book or hopefully both hello it is the next day I got to 25% of the way through Wrong Place, Wrong Time. I'm on page 89, I think is what it is. I'm, I'm not loving it. It's not bad. But I don't understand how it's boring. Like, I am genuinely, like, bored. And I don't see how we're going to get anywhere. Like, she keeps going to sleep and waking up the day before the last. Like, the day before the day that she's in now. So where we are right now, she's four days before this crime happens. And I think it's very odd how suspicious of her son she is, like how much she's like, well, he killed him. I gotta know why. I'm like, did you not even like consider that it was like self-defense or just anything? But like, she's just, it's not that she's like condemning her son, like he's a murderer, but she has called him a murderer on several occasions in her mind. So... Find that odd um i'm hoping for the best but i really I, I don't think this is gonna be a five star i don't see this being a five star i'm only 25 percent of the way in but like hopefully it'll be a four or at least a three i don't know but i just got a notification from fedex that the top of the de desk was delivered it's 3 30 and i am currently um sprinting with gabby on her patreon on her channel so let's open the door and see if it has arrived <gasps> okay, let's see how heavy this shit is. So I have it built. 
Hoping I did everything correctly. Now let's turn it over, plug it up, and see what it looks like. Okay. I would not suggest doing this by yourself because it is very heavy. Um, and it's electronic, so you know you don't want to mess anything up. But uh, I'm a girl who lives alone, so we are just gonna make do with what we've got. And what we've got is ourselves. So. that that was. Let me <laughs> Woo! I'll check myself out. Okay. Oh my god, it lit up! Oh shit! Okay. Look at this. I'm amazed with myself, honestly. It's the moment of truth. Oh my god, I am the bionic woman. This. Oh, you can't. Oh my god. This is the year 2023. Oh my god. <gasps> what? Oh, okay. Oh. I could do limbo with this desk. I. I'm amazed. This is so freaking cool. Oh my god. It's actually tall enough for me. A tall girl. Oh. I'm in love. I just realized that you couldn't even see how tall it is. Are you kidding me? And that's not even as high up as it can go. Like, let me show you compared to my body. What? I'm five foot eight. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. This is so cool. day. I decided last night, so I tried to make the desk work with the treadmill, you know, just to see if it would work. It doesn't. So I ended up last night putting my treadmill on Facebook Marketplace and a guy was like, hey, could I come by tomorrow around like noon to, to see it? And I was like, listen, I get it. Like just to see it. I could respect that. You know, you don't want to like get my hopes up in case you come and it doesn't work for you. Okay, cool. But it's 1.30 now. You're supposed to be here at noon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the grocery store. And if he messages me that he's coming over, I'll just leave the grocery store and be like, uh, you're gonna be waiting for me because I waited for you for an hour and a half. But listen, he probably won't show up. It's Facebook Marketplace, like, come on, let's be honest. So um, that's the goal right now is that I am going to get a walking pad and get rid of the, or sell the treadmill. I love the treadmill, nothing wrong with it. I just, this is the protective life I want to be living right now is the desk and the walking pad because I spend so much time at my desk, like an exorbitant amount of time at my desk. So I need to be able to stand for, you know, health reasons. Anyway, um, I am going to go to the grocery store, but I want to let you know that I got halfway into wrong place, wrong time. I'm still not riveted. I'm not riveted. I don't really care. I don't really care. I don't think it's very good. But Gabby said that she was bored basically like... It was, it was like, she said that she was bored and then it would get good and then it would be boring. But she said that the ending bumped up her rating by a full star and that the ending was good. And then everybody on live or everybody like on the stream was saying that the ending was good, but the rest of the book wasn't that good. And I'm like, okay, well now I want to know what happens. I want to know. So I'm going to finish it. Hopefully I have no motivation to pick it up, but also I do because I want to know what happens in the end, even though I know damn well, I'm not going to enjoy this book. It's probably toxic. Like, I know that I'm not gonna like it, but I'm gonna finish it anyway. 
Anyway, let's go to the grocery store. Couple things to say. One, Ethan, thank you so much. This is so incredibly sweet. And I did not even realize that the paperback had just come out or I would have bought it. And oh my God, you jumped the gun, got in front of me. Thank you so much. That's so incredibly sweet. Two, it's three o'clock. Obviously that guy is not coming, but I messaged him and he responded and said he would be here at 11 a.m. tomorrow, which could very well be the case. I don't know, but we'll wait and see. But oh my God. Okay. I... I'm like 75% of the way into wrong place, wrong time. And everybody was right. It definitely gets a lot better. <laughs> it gets a lot better. The first half of this book is so boring and not well written. But then how is it that all of a sudden in the second half, the writing is so much better and it's so much more interesting. In the beginning, I'm like, why is nothing happening? Like nothing's going on. And then all of a sudden she, like characters that the main character, maybe somebody in their life that had passed away when she's going back in time is seeing that person or those people and is like feeling the really, really strong emotions. And like, that was well written in my opinion, these, this person that she had lost that she's seeing again, I think that's really good. And then I'm gonna tell you right now, at like the 40% mark, I knew that this other other point of view we were getting. I was like, this is so stupid. Why are we getting this point of view? And then I was like, oh my God, I bet that this person is blah, blah, blah. I bet you anything. And then boom, just now found out I was right. I was right. I do not understand why, but I was right. I was right. How, I don't understand how he pulled it off this whole time. Anyway, I need to put my groceries away and I'm gonna keep listening to this book. I will finish it today. Two lovely people just came and picked up the treadmill. They are right here in this Jeep. They just came and picked it up. It barely fit in their car. And I was like, I was like, I can't carry it back upstairs. So we're going to have to figure this out. So figure it out how to make it fit in their Jeep, luckily. Um, actually, let me go show you what it looks like without the treadmill in my living room now. Like, look at this. Are you kidding me? It's huge. Like what? There's so much space. It's amazing. Okay. That's my only update. Actually, I did read a lot, but I don't want to talk about that right now. Well, I'll tell you about that later. That's gotta be the treadmill. It's gotta be. I mean, it is. It said it wasn't gonna get delivered until tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh my God, that was so funny. I opened the door as he was like, setting the package outside of my door. And I think I scared him. And he was like, oh, um, have a good nice day. It's <laughs> like, I'm so sorry, but it's here and it is heavy. I don't want to wait. I'm going to go ahead and set this up right now. It's been like a week since I talked to you last. And I think the last time I talked to you, I was like, oh, I'm reading a book, but I'll talk about it in a minute. No, I finished like four books, five books, six books. I have no idea. Since I talked to you last, what am I reading right now? Oh, I'm reading before the coffee gets cold, but I'm going to DNF it because I don't like it. I think it's so boring and I'm halfway through. So that's my update and I'm going to set this up. I am so excited to start using this desk. Like guys, 
Oh, I can start listening to A Sinister Revenge, which is the eighth. It's the newest Veronica Speedwell book by Deanna Rayborn. And Erin from Booked and Busy messaged me and asked if I was reading it because she's like halfway through it. And she was like, it's really good. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna start listening to that and I'm gonna set up the walking pad. So I think I'll keep it fully like that. And then when I want to walk on it, I will move it back a little bit. So I have more walking space, but let's see about turning it on. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm impressed. Okay. That's all you need to know. Okay. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out for the first time. Okay. So I just, oh, okay. Oh my god, that scared me! Oh, oh my god, it it counts my steps? Wow, that's crazy. How does it know? How does it know? This is wild. This is wild. Am I easily impressed or is this actually amazing? Because I can't tell. I am living in the year 2023. This, this is freaking insane. Like, uh, I'm loving it. I've literally just started and I am obsessed. I'm here to open the package that I just got. It's from Jamie Tolliver, one of my patrons, one of my like literally first ever patrons. She's so nice. And I don't know what it is. I'm about to open that, but I want to tell you, I just started chapter five of A Sinister Revenge. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's, it's so good. I'm literally like, I'm kicking my feet. I am obsessed with Veronica and Stoker. I'm upset. And Tiberius is so freaking funny. And I don't want to spoil anything. Like, I don't want to spoil anything. But I want to so bad. I want to tell you guys what Stoker just said. Oh my god! I had to pull over. I was freaking out. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I'm literally obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's amazing. Like, is this how the romance girlies feel? Is this how the, what the romance girlies say that they're kicking their feet? Do y'all feel like this about multiple books? Like, um, I hate that it can't be me. I hate that I can't be a romance girly. But let's open this box because we're in a good mood and it's going to get even better. Oh, wait. I think I opened it on the wrong side. Oops. We have successfully entered... Entered the realm of the gift? What am I talking about? Hey queen, I hope this finds you well. And if not, then I hope these goodies bring you some joy. You are a beautiful soul and I love how you give your authentic self to the world. Your channel, content, and Patreon have brought me and the bunny so much joy. Keep being you and know the bunny's love is strong in this coven of yours. All the love, Queen Jamie. That is so sweet. Also, I'm obsessed with my Patreon. I'm obsessed with y'all. I tell them everything. <gasps> what? This is sick. This is sick. Oh my God. She sent me stamps. Oh my, oh, look at that. Look at the shiny. Oh, that's stunning. And they're bunnies because this is the Lunar New Year of the rabbit. The way I'm going to actually like put these in my journal and not even use them. I think they're candles, but they're from um, the Zodiac Academy. Do I own all of those books? Yes. Have I read one of them? No. What in the what? Look, what is that crab man? This is Darcy and Tori Vega. So they are Geminis in the series. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that smells good. That does smell good. Okay, Jamie, God. Shit, this is good. This is a good box. I am freaking out. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's so soft. Oh, my God. Oh my God, oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, the 
this is so cute. This is my favorite color. Jamie, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm in the parking lot of the post office. I'm in the parking lot of the post office. I'm in the parking lot of the post office. You are going to get it together. You're going to get it together. Okay. Handmade with Love by Nana Kay. Jamie, did your fucking grandma make this for me? It's a bunny. It's a bunny. I'm in, I am in, I am in love with this. I, I don't have anything to, I don't have anything to say. This, I'm going to sleep with this. I want to put it on my bookshelf, but it's so soft and so fucking cute. I am sleeping with this. I'm not shitting you. Like this. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. Literally like Jamie, I, I. Okay, I need to be alone with my thoughts because first, Veronica, and, well, first The Walking Bad, then Veronica and Stoker, and then this, like, is this the best day of my life? Like, I, Jamie, I cannot thank you enough. Oh my God. Oh, okay, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Okay, I've gotta go, I've gotta go. Okay guys, I'm sorry that that was so abrupt, but I actually did use the walking pad for an hour last night and I walked so much and read so much. And I was also like listening to my audiobook, which I finished, but I was playing Killer Sudoku, Sudoku on my phone and walking just endlessly. And it is amazing. I am literally obsessed. If you were someone who has ADHD, I would highly suggest a standing desk and a walking pad because for me and my ADHD, my body needs to be doing one thing while my mind is doing something else. I can't just do one. If I'm out on a walk, I have to have a book. I have to have a podcast, something like that. And when I'm trying to do something like edit or really focus on reading or focus on puzzling or something, I have to have something else going on with my hands if that makes sense. So that's a perfect for that. But I do want to say that I finished the audiobook for A Sinister Revenge by Deanna Rayborn. I'm kicking my feet. I am kicking my feet. I was squealing. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars. I, I want to reread the entire series. I'm like holding myself back because I need to read uh, a book club book for Gabby for the book troop, but I want to reread this whole series, all eight books and annotate. I am truly blessed. Deanna Reborn blessed us with Veronica and Stoker. And is this how the romance girlies literally feel about like a bunch of different books? Like they're always saying like, oh my God, I'm kicking my feet. And that doesn't happen to me a lot, but I, I am kicking my little feet, my little feet for Veronica and Stoker. I, I cannot recommend this audiobook series enough. I can't, it's so freaking good. What else did I read in this video? I don't remember. Who cares? So thank you so much. Please check out Flexi Spot. They are going to be linked down below. I would highly suggest their desk. Like truly, honestly, I would. And also they're very affordable. If you want to follow me on Patreon, you always could because like I said, we do a lot of readings for us. I'm actually going to do one today. Um, I do it every day that I have off of my um, restaurant job because I just love hanging out with y'all and I get so much done doing readings for us. Also, if you want to follow me on Goodreads or Instagram, those links are also going to be down below. If you would so prefer, and if you want to like this video, you could also subscribe if for some reason you're not already subscribed. Like, what are you doing? Just trolling? Like, hello? Anyway, I hope that you're all having an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever it is you're having in whatever part of the world you are currently having it in. And I will see you in a video coming very soon. Bye. Looking for pain, pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh, I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Uh, expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next? Yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, it's a blessing. New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession. All in his possession, you got the retention. I leave an impression and take your redemption. Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon.